Here he comes, everybody. Maybe not. False alarm. It's proper wig nut hours here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't know if you can hear it. I don't have my good mic with me today, so you might not be able to hear it. A double bank holiday, or... Or is it just our welfare wing nuts? I don't know, dudes. I don't know, but the party's carried on from yesterday, and we're now into big wig MC Dave on the decks, dude. Banging, I so everybody, and apologise right from the outset if you any trouble with the audio here. I've tried to pump it up in the post processing, dude. In you know, all that time I spend afterwards. All these standalone videos. It's been a slow news week, I'm not gonna lie. But one of the things I've been wanting to comment upon <laughs> is a bit of internet drama involving the old guard of the distant right, ladies and gentlemen. And that is Colin Liddell and Andy Nowicki. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my sad duty to inform you and the rest of the world here, right here, that the long time working relationship, collaboration between Andy Nowicki, father of the school shooter fiction, and Colin Liddell, father of the brutal, brutal criticism of his own circle, really, has come to an end, ladies and gentlemen. It is no more. Now, I know what you're asking. Who the fuck is Colin Liddell and Andy Nowicki? Well, that's because you're not up to speed on the law like I am. So let me fill you all in. Back in the olden days, the distant right started out essentially with Richard Spencer and with a site called alternativeright.com. No, that's not altright.com. It's alternativeright.com. And I might be getting all these details mixed up or muddled up, but essentially my heart's in it, so it's in good faith. So it's uh, the intention's right, okay? Even if the details are a bit mixed up. But anyway, Richard Spencer, back in the day, he started alternativeright.com and he needed a little help, dudes, because he's not that into writing. We're still waiting for a book, Richard. Okay, you can make out you edit these books and that, but I've heard you just post them off to some dude in Thailand and he does it for you. I don't know if that's true, but anyway, Richard Spencer, he needed some help. So he brought on board Colin Liddell and Andy Nowicki. Andy Nowicki, famous for school shooting porn fiction. And Colin Liddell... Uh, famous for being a bit of, bit of a moody Scotsman, basically. Like they all are, really. It comes with the, the cold weather up there, I think. If you looked out of your window every morning and you saw howling gales, dude, well, first, you'd be a moody bastard, and second, you'd probably want to fuck off to Asia, to Japan, like Colin eventually did. So, all these things factor in so whatever whatever reason how it all worked out it's all funky donkey i don't know the actual details but colin liddell and andy nowicki andy based in america and colin based in japan but still carrying on his moody vibe there they were the three sides of the Alternative right triangle. 
and they began this website that I never got to see it it was a bit before my time so I, I'm going on law I'm re reciting a law here this is where it all came from they started this website back in the day something like 2010 or 11 when barely any of you were still in diapers they started this website there alternativewrite.com Richard Spencer needed help with the writing so they brought on board Andy Nowicki from America their skills shooter porn fiction writer extraordinaire and Colin Liddell uh, Moody Scotsman um, saw the light got the yellow fever off to Japan who can blame him those were the critical three sides of the triangle of alternativeright.com. They got it going, dudes. They're responsible for all this mess. All of them. That's it, dude. It's Colin Liddell, Richard Spencer, and Andy Nowicki who are responsible for this whole mess right here. But we've got to let them off the hook because, at least back then, you couldn't see it coming. For a time, it was a jollier jolly old good good read good vibe good scene big tent big vibes it got a scene going so must always remember them in our hearts ladies and gentlemen always have a soft spot for each of the three characters here so where did I get to there I just got unfortunately distracted because there was a bird with a dog and so we had a little chit chat dudes. I didn't film her ass this time. Uh, because I'm maturing basically. So anyway, where were we? Colin Liddell, Richard Spencer, and Andy Nowicki. The three sides of an equal actual triangle. Fathers of the alt-right basically. And for that we hold them in our hearts. Richard Spencer, he did the dirty on Colin Liddell and Andy Nowicki when he decided there weren't really any any go left in alternativeright.com or he just forgot to pay for the re-registration of the website whatever the truth is there dude, I'm not exactly sure about the law but anyway, unbeknownst to Colin Liddell and Andy Nowicki he pulled the site from under them and Andy Nowicki and Colin Liddell have kind of had a hate boner about this ever since, understandably in my opinion. Uh, but they went off and they formed the unfortunately hosted blogspot site, alternativeright.blogspot.com there dudes. Now, if I was to give somebody some advice, I'd just advise them not to do that. I'd advise them <laughs> to just get any, any anything else, really. Dot com, dot live, dot me, Ted, anything. But post it on a dot blog spot, really. But you can't win them all. You can't win them all, can you? Um, so they continued, and for a long time it was a... Um, essentially a bit of a mediocre sideshow but it maintained a cult status and presence on the distant right unfortunately I think Colin and Andy would agree that it got overshadowed by the fanfare the metrosexualization of the distant right by Richard Spencer and also just the fact that discourse or entertaining discourse really heavily shifted in 2014-15 probably due to Sargon, let's blame him from written blog posts, written text on a screen Plus all the screens were shitty back then, weren't they? So it's really difficult to carry like one of those LCD monitors around with you everywhere if you just want to read something. So we didn't have funky donkey phones, futuristic little flat screens that we can put in our pockets back then, did we? So it's, it suffered from 
bit of a problem like that. But anyway, I'm rambling here. The distant right really took off in video format on YouTube. So they were a bit overshadowed. They were a bit behind the curve, a bit like a Kodak camera um, as the digital photograph cameras came on board. Can't blame them for it. They carried on with what they knew best. Anyway, in summary, they carried on the website um, without Richard Spencer there. And Richard Spencer went more into the video fed posting world, essentially. And then in real life fed posting world. Uh, and then that came to a steaming dump, basically. But recently, in recent weeks, I noticed Colin Liddell, he decided to shut down the unfortunately hosted alternative right.blogspot.com and moved to a new unfortunately hosted neocrat.blogspot.com site there and I thought there was something funky dunky about it at the time I'm not gonna lie I thought it might be I thought it's a bit odd just to do a, a crash rebrand but sometimes it's it's a good idea just to shake it up Move along, get away from stale old ideas. Especially after renaming it to the unfortunately named and unfortunately hosted affirmative right.blogspot.com a few months or a year ago. And I like Neo Crat. Dude, I like it. I like the idea. It's still got the uh, 2010 vibe to the side there. Dude, I just had to pause again, didn't we, dude? Because the lady, she double back round. She double back round. Like, oh, accidentally on purpose to bump into us again. I don't know what to tell you, incels, but that's what happened, dude. You've either got it or you haven't, basically, isn't it? <laughs> but I do need to finish my story. Anyway, Colin shut down his site with Andy Nowicki a few weeks ago. And it's sad news, but in I've not even got to the exciting part yet. Colin Liddell... Uh, I don't think he'd said anything bad about Andy Nowicki publicly that I'm aware of. I could be wrong about this. I don't want to... Take a side, although I suppose I'd naturally take Colin's side because he's made an effort to promote me and he always ignored my comments, the mighty bastard. Um, but I was never too favourable about Flat Earth and Mandela effects. So. And I'm not really into shooter porn, so that might be, there might be something to that. Uh, anyway, what do I want to say about this? They've fallen out. They've had a big falling out. I don't think Colin threw the first stone, but I might be biased. Uh, but Andy has retaliated. He's calling Colin Liddell a Russian shell, a warmonger supporter. I think not a warmonger. I think he's calling him a warmonger apologist or something like that. Cooking a little on that Andy there. Just call him a warmonger if you're going to do it, isn't it? It's the same thing, but with like a, a caveat cook, isn't it? Just go full on, dandy dude. Come on, let's have it. Let's have it. Tell us all the secrets. We need to know all Colin's dirty secrets now. How is it fake? And how is it cowardly? What's fake about it, Colin Liddell? Really? Colin Liddell, do you support the, the United Kingdom, your, your home nation, uh, do you support them? Uh, do you support the elites, the establishment, uh, taking millions of pounds, tens of millions of pounds? I don't, I don't know the exact number, but it's a lot. And it's a lot here too in the United States as well. And in Canada and every other Western country that's sending Ukrainian, uh, <clears throat> the Ukrainians money for, uh, for guns and bombs. <clears throat> to perpetuate this war, to keep this war going. Um, are you saying that you support that? You you support your uh, elected officials 
neglecting to address all the many things that need to be addressed within Western countries, um, and instead taking that money and shooting it on over to uh, the uh, t- so that the Azov battalion can be well stocked with uh, <laughs> Kalashnikovs and and whatnot. Is that what you're saying? You do you do you think that Western governments pouring millions and millions and millions let the laundry out, dude. You're already spitting fire. That is a warmonger, a shill. He's gone full Richard Spencer, basically. This is what Andy Nurek is saying about Colin Liddell, dude. But Liddell, recently, especially over the last couple of years... But, but I would say this is a trend that's been going on with him you know, for maybe the last four or five years. Um, ever since he decided uh, to change the name of his site from... Well, it was his site. It became his site. He and I were sharing editing duties, and then I, uh, I sort of kicked it all over to him to, to do the editing because I wanted to focus more on a different kind of writing, mainly my fiction writing. Uh, I didn't have the same kind of energy to just write about, you know, the, the passing scene or, ooh, this, this current event, that current event, isn't, that, isn't this uh, interesting or isn't this uh, outrageous and hurt me all up in arms about it? Adele, I would say, I don't, I don't know him that well, but my impression of him is that he is someone... He is, you know... As the uh, the narrator of Dostoevsky's Notes from Underground says, "I am a spiteful man." He says it of, of he says several things of himself. I'm a sick man. Uh, I am uh, a spiteful man. I think there's something wrong with my liver. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that that Colin Liddell is sick or that there's anything wrong with his liver. But I think the second thing there, I am a spiteful man, applies very well to Colin Liddell. My impression of him is that he is a man who is essentially motivated by his spite, and his spite takes him takes him where he wants to go, uh, and he, he and he follows it uh, faithfully. His spite is his muse, and <clears throat> at some point in time along the way, Colin Liddell b- developed this this hatred for the alternative right scene, uh, or the dissident right scene, generally speaking. Um, uh, with, with a few exceptions here or there, but mostly he just, he just came to see, came to think that it was all, uh, just bogus and, and, uh, that, and full of, uh, people who were essentially worthless. And he's miffed. He's not happy. He's not a happy boy. So I don't know what's going on. In the background, behind closed doors, did they have a fisticuffs? Did Colin invite Andy over to Japan and he got refused entry um, at the border? Um, I've seen the Japs there with the placard saying, get the fuck out, baldies, and all that kind of thing. They're pretty intralow over there, so... Uh, I don't know what's happened. It's sad though, all three spokes of the triangle have fallen and split apart now. It's a sad time, but you could probably see it coming. And that's about it really. I'm sorry it wasn't really useful information. I don't know the inside story. Uh, Just thought I'd ruminate on the drama. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, Collins fired a short article back takes about one minute or 30 seconds to read uh, just in response to Andy Nowicki firing a full broadside at Colin <laughs> well half a broadside a warm on the supporter or whatever calling him a Russof- Russophobe apologising for the neoliberal warmongering world order in a 20 minute rant Colin did this uh, one minute response and Andy's done another 20 minute reading of it saying it's outrageous it's outrageous but it doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me but I, I, I honestly dudes I like it I like it <laughs> but I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting him to go there Whew.
I think all Colin said is Andy's like this divorced guy who's losing his mind, mentally ill, um, who thinks that South America's being hidden by uh, global elite lizard people. And, and that's fairly accurate description, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and he read it out, so it's quite comical. I'll endeavour to put a link to Colin's website, which is absent now, of Andy Nowicki. We'll not get any Andy Nowickis over there. We're not, unfortunately, going to get any more articles on chemtrails, dude. Flat Earth. School shooting erective pawns fiction reviews incel music uh, Mandela effects and all that stuff basically we're not going to get it and that's sad because I like all these big characters and this certainly a big character and that's the state of play ladies and gentlemen all over the place wasn't it anyway I'm going to try and put the links to Andy Collins website neocrat.blogspot.com or whatever it's called in the description to this video dudes all right that's been a ramble later everybody say later dude <laughs> woof and I got back just in time didn't I got back just in time dude Thanks for watching my videos everybody, I appreciate you.